this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. Good morning and welcome to All Saints by the Seas Digital Children's Chapel. I'm Reverend Amy, and while I miss being able to be with you all in person, I'm so glad that we can be together in this digital format. If you are able, I ask you to find a candle in your house and have a grown-up who's with you help you light the candle as we get started with Children's Chapel. Each week we light the candle as a reminder that God's light is shining in our world, in the dark places, in those places where we're afraid, in those places where we're sad, in those places where there's joy and happiness and fun and love, God's light is shining everywhere. And this light is a symbol of God's light. So let's go ahead and light our candle with a grown-up's help. Now it's time to say our prayers, so why don't you center your hands in front of your heart to help us center ourselves for our prayer. And we'll take in three deep breaths, in through our nose and out through our mouth. I like to close my eyes when I do it, so if you'd like to do that, you can as well. Let's take a deep breath in through our nose and out through our mouth. One. Two, three, and now repeat after me. God be in my head and in my thinking. God be in my eyes and in my seeing. God be in my ears and in my hearing. God be in my mouth and in my speaking. God be in my heart and in my loving. Amen. And now we're going to hear the story for today. Hi. Today I'm going to read you a story called Naama Noah's Wife. When the world was still young, there lived a man called Noah and a woman called Naama. God said to Noah, I am going to bring a big flood. Build an ark 
that's a really big boat. And bring two of every animal onto it. God, excuse me, Noah did as God said. To Naama, God said, Gather the seeds of all the flowers and plants. Bring two of every kind on the ark. Naama did as God said. She tied an apron of many pockets around her waist. She placed lima beans, yummy, and lemons, mmm, fruits and vegetables of every kind into the pockets of her apron. She almost forgot the dandelions, but God reminded her. Naama picked acorns and gathered the seeds of sunflowers and buttercups. When she collected all the plants, she brought them into the ark. Look at all those wonderful plants. There, she made a garden away from all the animals. Then, the rain disappeared. Oh, excuse me. Then, the sun disappeared. That makes more sense, doesn't it? And it rained and rained without stopping. So here, you see her with her garden and it's away from the animals. And what does this sign say? This sign says, these plants are not for food. Hmm, I wonder what they're for then. Hmm. Let's see if we can find out. And look, look, at, look what all this rain did. Ooh, it's a lot of rain. After 40 days and nights, the rain stopped and dry land began to appear. It was time for the earth to begin again. Hmm. I wonder what we need for the earth to begin again. Naama placed the seeds in the deep pockets of her apron and ran outside. She put the milkweed in her hands and let the winds carry them in all directions. That must be why the monarchs travel so far, right? Mm -hmm. Look at how the, her seeds go everywhere. She dug holes in the soil and planted peppers poppies and plums because Naama almost forgot dandelions. God made certain they covered the earth. Oh, isn't it beautiful? All of those plants. Naama saw how the seeds became flowers, fruits, and vegetables and she was happy. God saw that Amma's garden was very good. Isn't that a good and lovely garden? Mm -hmm. And God too was What 
was your favorite part of the story? What part of the story did you find to be most important? Take some time right now to talk with the adult with you or with your siblings or your friends and tell them about which one, you, which part is your favorite or which part you thought was most important. If you need to pause the video, that's okay. Just remember to come back so that we can finish chapel. The story tells us about how good God is. Let's sing about that together. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. That was a wonderful story. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I'm Chaplain Allison, and, it's, and I'm really glad that you're worshiping with us today. I'm here in my backyard with my chickens and my dog, Waffles. So we're gonna get ready to have our closing prayer. So let's put our hands in prayer position. and have three deep breaths in and out to help us get settled in prayer position. That's one, so let's go another deep breath in. Help me, Lord, to love you more than I've ever loved before. In my work and in my play, God be with me through the day. Amen. And now it's time to change the light. Remember, we light the candle to represent God's light here with us. And when we blow the candle out, it doesn't mean that God's light and God's love go away. It means that it goes everywhere and it's inside of us also. So let's watch the light as it goes. goes. It's moving everywhere. So, thank you for worshiping with all of us here today. And now let's sing a song. The candle reminds us that God's light is always within us and we can let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it 
I'm 